My sisters and brothers in Christ, Christmas blessings. Over 2,000 years ago, a baby boy was born in the most humble of circumstances. God sent his son to become one of us, yet did not come as a king or a military hero. He came as a baby born to poor parents and raised learning to be a carpenter. Christmas is a celebration of this incarnation. God became one of us. It is often easy to forget that the joyful celebration of Christmas is truly a celebration made possible through the power of God by the yeses of two people, Mary, the mother of God, and Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. Neither of their yeses to God's will could have been easy, yet they were open to God's will and receiving Jesus not only into their home, but also into their hearts. I am sure that Mary and Joseph said yes to God many more times throughout their lives as husband and wife and as the parents of Jesus. This Christmas, let us be open to telling God yes for his will, for his plan in our lives. Let us open our hearts to receive Jesus each and every day in times of joy and in times of challenge. He desires for us to have hope in his plan for us and in the ways he daily reveals himself to us. In this openness to God's will and saying yes to him, we can find peace and hope this Christmas season and far beyond. In God's will is our peace. I extend my heartfelt best wishes for a very blessed Christmas to you and to your families. And may God's blessings be abundant for you in the new year of 2022. A very blessed and holy Christmas.